Hello everyone, welcome to our last episode of Roblox Game Development for this week. Um, big news, tomorrow is BloxCon Chicago, I will be there, I will be recording some of it. Comment below what you guys want me to record, what you guys want to see. I will try to, try to upload as much of it as I'm allowed to by Roblox, and I am super pumped for it. I am being, I've played this game since 2009 and without this game I would not have ever been interested in computers like I am today so thank you Roblox I owe a lot to you um, but I'm pumped for BloxCon I hope maybe some of you guys will be there if so maybe we could like talk for a couple minutes or something it'd be awesome to meet some of you uh, I don't know if any of you are even in America to be honest <laughs> I know I know quite a few of you that watch my videos are in Britain but and hopefully you're able to go to the London one but hopefully some of you are at the Chicago it'd be awesome All right. uh, but for today we're going to learn about body forces body forces are basically just an object that Roblox allows or created and it basically fights gravity it fights physics it fights outside forces by pushing something in a certain direction you can determine this direction by changing the vector 3 value the higher the numbers in the vector 3 value for X Y and Z the more force put into that particular direction so if you put like negative 8,000 it would go really fast down if you put like negative two or that's for the y if you put 9,000 for the y it would shoot up uh, usually some things as I, I'll probably as I tried once um, this brick did not move very much uh, with a body force so keep in mind body forces might not work with heavy bricks like that anyway so we're going to go to the starter pack light and firing and in here we're going to go force equals instance dot new body force now body forces we're just gonna insert a f body force into this part here alright body forces if we go to our properties body forces have the class name body force they start out with the name body force their parent is always its parents the same but that's the part it affects too parent is super important for body forces it's archivable, okay, useless information there. But here's where it finally gets interesting. Force. It's a vector 3 value, but one of the most interesting things about it is that the first letter in it is lowercase. I know. I'm shocked about something like that, and it's like, um, that's kind of not interesting, BB. But it is because most properties are always, almost always capitalized for their first letter. For some reason, Roblox chose not to in this case. But force is the which direction this body force should push in. So we're going to go force dot force equals vector three dot new. Now in the last episode, I tried and to use ninety for the Y here, and it shot them the bullets up like crazy. But before we change that, force dot parent equals bullet. All right. So 90 is too much, but how about 20? We already have 20 for the vel uh, velocity of the brick, so we might as well try 20 for just keeping it in the air. That's what this body force is doing. Since we changed the y variable of its vector three value in force, it's going to do keep it up maybe even shoot it up a little more than it starts out at okay nope even 20 is shooting these things up like crazy high three maybe 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 um, we're also gonna change the uh, velocity of our brick to multiply it by a hundred here soon um, to make it a lot faster and we'll probably have to change these again yeah, alright, three seems to be working okay. Anything beyond this, it shoots up. Um, but now we're going to change the velocity, and that means we'll probably have to toy with that all over again. 
but just multiply this by a hundred and cross your fingers guys cross your fingers one thing we could maybe do is increase the friction but I don't know if that would help there you guys go you can see the bricks are actually getting to their target now all right awesome we're firing they're staying up fairly long and they're firing where we want them to awesome they're finally working next episode is going to be fixing what I'm about to show you guys happens we're gonna press F7 and then Alt F7 twice and you guys are going to see something that may really irk you about this gun because you guys are probably excited you're like yes we're finally getting there we're finally getting the guns working and now we're going to run into something that makes the guns absolutely terrible absolutely positively terrible when I show you guys this let's go to player one though pull out his light Hmm, we're actually getting some kind of air. Uh, does the gun still fire? It does not. Well, hmm. Players, player one, backpack, light. Let's disable and re enable that. There we go. Alright, I found the problem. Now it's shooting. All right, let's shoot this player too. All right, we see the bullets hitting him. We see them ricocheting off of him. But there's a problem. His health bar is still full of greenness. So that's what we're going to work on Monday. Um, today again is Friday. It's the last day. I'm in, I'm in Chicago right now, guys, waiting for tomorrow. I am filming this episode super early. Um, it's actually just Monday, guys. It's Monday that I'm filming this. The 8th. Apparently, Crazy Man 32's birthday, as I found out on Twitter. But that's how early I've got to film this. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or the dislike button. Corresponding to how you felt about this video. And I. We'll catch you guys later.